Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Monica Miller. The headlines. A former policeman in Thailand kills at least 38 people at a nursery school, most of them children. What could have driven this man to carry out such a cruel and desperate act? President Biden pardons all Americans convicted of marijuana possession under federal laws and urges state governors to follow his lead. Russian missiles hit residential buildings in the Ukrainian city of Zaporizhia. The BBC's correspondent is there. And Matilda the Musical makes waves as it opens this year's London Film Festival. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. It's 6 in the morning in Singapore and 5 a.m. in Thailand, where at least 38 people, mostly young children, have been killed by a gunman at a nursery school. He was a former police officer who had been dismissed from his job and was facing trial on drug charges. He entered the school in the town of Uta Hai Sawan in northern Thailand with a gun and a knife and attacked teachers and children. He then killed himself, his wife and his son. Our Southeast Asia correspondent Jonathan Head is at the scene. And a warning, this report contains some very distressing images. You're watching Newsday on the BBC. Still to come on the program. Protests and power cuts in Cuba. We'll have the latest as the island struggles to recover from this devastation left by Hurricane Ian last week. This is Newsday on the BBC. I'm Monica Miller in Singapore. To Indonesia now, where six people have been charged over a football stadium disaster that killed 131 people over the weekend. A senior police chief said match organizers and police officers were among those being investigated on suspicion of criminal negligence. The BBC has been speaking to the survivors and people who have lost loved ones in the crush. A warning, there's some distressing content in this report. And our last story for you, in the quiet and picturesque surroundings of a national park in Alaska, a battle is going on. It's known as the Fat Bear Week, as bears in Alaska's Katmai National Gorge themselves with salmon ahead of the winter. Admirers are voting to crown one lucky bear the fattest of them all. Voting is open until the 11th of October, Fat Bear Tuesday, when the champion will be crowned. And that's it for us now here on BBC World News. I'm Monica Miller. Bye for now. Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Monica Miller. The headlines. A former policeman in Thailand kills at least 38 people at a nursery school, most of them children. What could have driven this man to carry out such a cruel and desperate act? President Biden pardons all Americans convicted of marijuana possession under federal laws and urges state governors to follow his lead. Russian missiles hit residential buildings in the Ukrainian city of Zaporizhia. The BBC's correspondent is there. And meet Maya, the world's first cloned Arctic wolf cub, whose mother happens to be a pet dog. 
live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. It was a massacre that shocked the nation and the world. Now, Thailand's king is expected to visit the town of Utahai Sawan in northern Thailand. It's where at least 38 people, mostly young children, were killed by an attacker at a nursery school. The man responsible was a former police officer who was facing a trial on drug charges. He carried out the attack with a gun and a knife and killed children and teachers before shooting himself dead. Our Southeast Asia correspondent, Jonathan Head, is at the scene. And a warning, his report contains some very distressing images. You're watching Newsday on the BBC. Still to come on the program. Protested power cuts in Cuba. We'll have the latest as the island struggles to recover from the devastation left by Hurricane Ian last week. This is Newsday on the BBC. I'm Monica Miller in Singapore. Our headlines. A policeman in Thailand has killed at least 38 people at a nursery school, most of them children. President Biden has pardoned all Americans convicted of marijuana possession under federal laws and urges state governors to follow his lead. Prince Harry, Sir Elton John, Elizabeth Hurley, and Baroness Doreen Lawrence are part of a group who've launched legal action in the UK against Associated Newspapers. Those are the publishers of the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday, and the Mail Online for alleged gross breaches of privacy. Our home affairs correspondent Tom Simons has the story, and I should warn you that his report contains flashing images from the start. Now, one last story for you in the quiet and picturesque surroundings of a national park in Alaska, a battle is on. It's known as Fat Bear Week, and bears in Alaska's Katmai National gorge themselves on salmon ahead of the winter. Admirers are voting to crown one lucky bear the fattest of them all. Voting is open until the 11th of October, Fat Bear Week, when the champion will be crowned. And you have been watching Newsday. Stay with us. Uh, I'm Monica Miller. And if you want to keep abreast of all of the news, you can always visit us on bbc.com slash news. Bye for now. Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Monica Miller. The headlines. A former policeman in Thailand kills at least 38 people at a nursery school, most of them children. What could have driven this man to carry out such a cruel and desperate act? President Biden pardons all Americans convicted of marijuana possession under federal laws and urges state governors to follow his lead. As six people face criminal charges over Indonesia's football stadium disaster, we hear from survivors and families of those killed in the crush. And piling on the pounds, why Alaska's brown bears are big news. Live from our studio in Singapore. 
This is BBC News. It's Newsday. It was a massacre that shocked the nation and the world. Now, Thailand's king is expected to visit the town of Utahai Sawan in northern Thailand. It's where at least 38 people, mostly young children, were killed by an attacker at a nursery school. The man responsible was a former police officer who was facing a trial on drug charges. He carried out the attack with a gun and knife and killed children and teachers before shooting himself dead. Our Southeast Asia correspondent, Jonathan Head, is at the scene. And a warning, his report contains some very distressing images. You're watching Newsday on the BBC. Still to come on the program. Just why are the rich and famous, including Prince Harry and Sir Elton John, taking legal action against a British newspaper? We'll find out a little later. This is Newsday on the BBC. I'm Monica Miller in Singapore. Our main story. A former policeman in Thailand has killed at least 38 people at a nursery school, most of them children. Rescue workers in the Ukrainian city of Zaporizhia are continuing their search for people buried in the rubble after Russian missiles hit residential buildings on Thursday. The attacks came as the Ukrainian army continues to make dramatic progress against Russian forces in the east and the south of the country. Our correspondent Paul Adams reports. That's a lot of fish. And finally, in a world first, two Arctic wolves have been cloned by a company in China in the last month. This is Maya, the first wolf pup to be born. She's playing with her surrogate mother, who happens to be a beagle. The Arctic wolf is a subspecies of a gray wolf native to the Canadian northern Arctic archipelago. And that is it for this here on Newsday. Please stay with BBC World News. Bye for now. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for Europe over the next couple of days. It's a relatively quiet story 